I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel, your three-day forecast for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today is pretty quiet nationwide. We don't have a lot of precip. South of San Antonio, some rain, some thunder, a few showers maybe around Tampa and even over towards Orlando. But dry weather northeast through the Midwest, 34 Chicago, pretty nominal. Same with New York City, 40 is about average, and near 80 in Southern California. Over the weekend, that storm, which is bringing some rain in deep south Texas, is going to ride through the Gulf and then up through the Carolinas, off the coast, and up across the northeast coast, off Cape Cod by Sunday night. So that's going to bring rain for the fourth weekend in a row around the Atlanta, Birmingham area, 55 there. Mild day in Dallas for one more day. Then here comes that Arctic front. That's going to drop south and really uh, collapse those temperatures. We're going to have a lot of spots here with highs below zero for several days. Clouds in Seattle, beautiful weather. San Francisco, L.A. back up to 78 and near 50 in New York City for the last Saturday of the year. Now for Sunday, the storm by this point will go right off the Carolina coast, right off Cape Cod, as I mentioned Sunday night. This is going to be mostly rain. We don't have a cold high to the north. Now interior Maine and uh, say northern New Hampshire, you could uh, certainly pick up four or five inches of snowfall. But again, for millions of us, this is going to be rain and not snow. Temperature is showing the rainfall in New York City at 43. The rain should end in Atlanta by midday. Snowflakes with the Arctic front. And look at Minneapolis, drops down to zero for a high. Still nice and balmy in the southwest, Phoenix at 70, as Dallas falls 17 degrees behind that front, the old norther, on uh, Sunday. That's your three-day forecast. Beyond that, the rest of the year, early January, 10 days worth of weather, always updated around the clock at weather.com.